intorno girano delle belle tabanco al riposo Good morning YouTube! Madam Roy back again. Back to you with another cooking video. Yes, this is the long-awaited lentil soup that I promised you. This is going to be kind of a hybrid. The basic recipe came from my uncle, but I added my little spin on this. And for those of you that watch my channel that are vegans, this will be perfect for you because this is technically a vegan dish as well. Let's go over the ingredients that are going to go into this lentil soup. Then we'll start cooking it. I already have the uh, pot on there that I'm going to use. And uh, it's a very basic recipe. It won't take too long. Even Baxter came here to help us, right? All right, so let's get started. First of all, you're going to need some lentils. I buy these from um, Walmart. These are the great value lentils. I usually like to get two pounds. I like a lot of lentils in my lentil soup. Um, so I get two packages, very cheap. They're, I believe, about 78 cents. Next, I like to put in my mirepoix, which is the carrots, the celery, and yes, I know that looks a little brown, but the rest of the celery in there is just fine, <laughs> and two yellow onions. Then you need salt and pepper, some fresh garlic, or you can use the minced like I do here. This just comes in a... Uh, a little jar you can get this at Dollar Tree this I actually got when we were up at my uncle's big big bulk and you can see and you can see we use quite a bit of it quickly <laughs> two cans of diced, diced tomatoes they can be petite or regular size doesn't really matter we have garlic powder basil leaf spike seasoning which is kind of my spin to it this is kind of a seasonal if you guys have never heard of it I have talked about this in um, past vlogs I really like it so I add a little bit of this for extra flavoring a couple of bay leaves go in it and last but not least this is my uncle's kind of secret spin he uses uh, Lipton onion soup to give it that little extra flavor so these this is the basic ingredients list I'm going to pause the video for a few minutes mom is going to come down she's going to assist me with the camcorder and we'll get started cooking this delicious lentil soup all right tubers so I have the water getting ready to boil I use only filtered water that makes for the best tasting soup just finished cutting up the mirepoix which is the onions carrots and the celery I used a two pound bag of carrots I did use two medium to large size onions and then I used one package of celery. I believe celery is pretty much the same size everywhere you get it. So a package of celery, two pounds of carrots, and two onions. I gotta go ahead and wait for this to finish boiling and then we continue with this delicious All right, recipe. Alright tubers, time to drain the lentils. Gotta open both bags and dump them into this colander. Yes, a colander, not a calendar. It has to be pretty fine because they're really small and if you have one that has too big of holes, then lentils just going to go right through into the sink. Now what you want to do, you don't have to do this a lot, you just want to basically rinse any of the junk that might have been left over on the lentils and kind of wash them off your hands. A loose rinse is fine, that's all you really need. Just let that sit for a minute. The water is boiling, so as soon as that start, comes to a boil, I'll go ahead and continue and talk to you guys in just a couple of minutes. All right, tubers. While we're waiting for the water to boil, I'm going. I'm preparing the um, French onion soup. This is going to be the additive towards the end. We're actually going to dump this in with the rest of the soup. And this just gives it a little extra flavor. This is a little trick that my uncle taught me, and I did this last time, and it tasted absolutely delicious. Well, I think this is about ready to boil, so I'm going to go ahead and pour the lentils in. Be back with you guys in just a moment. All right, water is boiling. It doesn't have to be a hard boil. Soft boil will be fine. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put in about four bay leaves. So one, two, three, four. It just gives it a little extra flavor. Then I'm going to have to tap this because the spike is organic and it always sticks together. Put in about two tablespoons of the spike seasoning. And for whatever reason, spike always makes the water boil more. Next, about two more tablespoons of garlic powder. Hopefully yours won't stick like mine does. You know what? Heck with it. We'll just go like this. There we go. 
say about a tablespoon of basil. You don't want a lot of basil. It just gives it a little extra flavor. Now we're ready to go ahead and stick the lentils in. Now mom thinks I'm going to make a huge mess doing this. So let's see if she's <laughs> right or wrong. I dropped a few, but not too bad. <laughs> of course, some always stick to the lip anyway. All right. And that is going to be it for now. We're going to go ahead and let that bring that to a boil, and then in about a half an hour, we're going to put the vegetables in. So catch up with you guys in about a half an hour. All right, tubers, it's been about another 10 minutes. What I'm actually going to do here, I'm going to go ahead and add the French onion soup to this mix. I'm not going to add it all though because a lot of times it makes it um, too salty. I'm probably going to have to do is transfer some of this to another pot. Um, but we got to go and let this boil for about another 20 minutes or so and then we can go ahead and add the vegetables. Alright tubers, well it's been about a half an hour and as you can see they are both boiling away here. So I am going to go ahead and add the vegetables. Now this is my mirepoix. This is the celery, the carrots, and the onions. And I'm going to have to probably put the camera down to do this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add an equal amount of this into each pot. Then we're going to go ahead and let them cook for about another half an hour. All right, the mirepoix is now in both pots. I'm going to go ahead and put them on again with the lids cocked so they don't boil over. Get about another half an hour on either or both of those, and then we'll go ahead and put in the diced tomatoes. All right, tubers, it's been about 35, 45 minutes, and the next thing I need to put in here is the minced garlic. Now, I'm not going to do a lot. One heaping teaspoon in each should suffice. Remember, I did put in the garlic powder, so it's going to get a taste from both of those, but I like to have some minced garlic in there, too, because once that cooks, that'll give you a lot more actual flavor. Got to go ahead and put the lid back on these. Let them cook for about another hour and 20 minutes. But about, let's see, maybe 10, 15 minutes from now, I'm going to throw in the diced tomatoes. And I will show you when that happens. <laughs> Talk to you shortly. All right, tubers. So one thing I all nearly forgot to put in was the salt and pepper. I've already put the salt in. It was about two tablespoons. And I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing with the pepper here. You can put less in if you'd like, but I like quite a bit of pepper in mine just for added flavoring. There we go. Go ahead and let that permeate. And in just a couple minutes, we're going to add our petite diced tomatoes. All right, tubers. So it is now time to go ahead and add the diced tomatoes. Because there's a lot more in here, I'm going to go ahead and turn the boil down. I'm going to add a whole can to this one. You don't want to drain them either because uh, you want that juice to give it a little bit of flavor. And I'm going to add just a tiny bit, maybe about a quarter of this can to this one. Then I'll go ahead and... Whoo, this lens is fogging up here. Then I'm going to put the rest of it in here. Then we'll go ahead and let this uh, cook a little bit while longer. Um, when it gets close to the end, what I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and take my immersion blender here and I'm going to blend it up just a little bit. That way you get a little bit more of a concentrated taste. We're not going to go ahead and blend it all, but maybe say about 20 to 30 percent of it. I'm going to let these cook and I'll catch you guys in just a few all minutes. Alright tubers, well the soup has been in for about an hour. Now I'm going to take the immersion blender if you want to get close up here and I'll show you what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and go around. I said about 20% of this I want to just kind of liquefy. <laughs> yeah, that happens. <laughs> Not the carrots, but mainly the beans. So I got that one done. I'll go ahead and do the same with this. Mainly you're trying to get the beans liquefied, at least a, a good amount of them. There we go. And that is it. Now, the very last step to this, you want to go ahead and put the lid on, keep the flames off, and you got to let it sit for about an hour. So you have a total of about two hours of cook time. One actual cooking with the flame on, and then you have to let it sit for an hour. 
one hour from now, so around 8 o'clock, we're going to have some delicious homemade lentil soup, and I'll see you guys then. All right, soup is ready. Let's go ahead and pour some of this delicious soup into my mug here, getting as much broth as I possibly can. There we go. And there you have it, guys and gals. Homemade lentil soup. Quick and easy. Only takes about two hours and is absolutely delicious. Hope you guys really enjoyed this cooking video. Please continue to remember to like and subscribe. And as always, have a blessed day, everybody. Not she said, what do you